Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we have the Acid Green HP Pavilion, but this is actually a new version that we think is really kind of a replacement for the typical 1650 and i3 or Ryzen 3 one. And this thing is only $650 and features an RTX 3060. Yes, we tried to stay away from doing another Acid Green Pavilion build, but that configuration is too hard to pass up. Before we open this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit, it will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we built here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkout. So yes, this system for $650, you're getting an RTX 3060, you're getting an i5 10400F 6412 thread, and eight gigs of RAM. We don't know if it's dual channel or not yet, we will find out, and you're also getting a 256 gig, probably NVMe SSD. So we're really excited to see if they've really modified anything in this HP Pavilion. It might just be the same old, same old, just with some slightly different parts, but the fact that it's 650 bucks and you get a mouse and keyboard as well, definitely seems like one of the best deals we've seen in a while on paper. So let's not waste any more time, open this thing up and see what it looks like. It does say like, you know, on the box, they kind of brag about it having like customizable LED expansion. I'm like, what does that mean? Does it actually have like three pin ARGB in it? Cause I don't think we've ever seen that before. But then again, we might have not really looked for it before. Of course, we're gonna get a HP keyboard and mouse with this. And I don't really know if anyone even cares to see this, but I mean, yeah, it's like the same one I feel like I've been seeing for years. Um, they just, they always have slight improvements upon the old design. Here's our mouse, our power cable. Yeah, oh, we got some screws too, probably for like hard drive and you know, SSD expansion, stuff like that. Ooh All right. But yeah, their computers have always been like this same kind of form factor, just very light. Um, kind of like, I really wouldn't call it a mid tower, I'd definitely call it a mini tower. They've always done a great job. I don't think we've ever had one of these systems show up not working. We buy refurb ones all the time too, and they've always just been great. So just props to HP for just, you know, good build quality that's simple, it, it doesn't break or anything. They've done a great job in incorporating a lot of different ports, like more than you see on most systems. So we have a combo headphone jack, we have four USB 3s, we have a full size SD card reader and USB C. That's crazy. I mean, no matter what PC you build at home, you're not gonna have this many ports up front unless you find some really weird case. You're pretty much always gonna have one USB 3, maybe one USB 2, sometimes two USB 3s, and maybe a USB C, and that's it. Now, in the back, because you know, you might have a separate mic, you might have a set of speakers you wanna switch back and forth, we have a green port for the speaker out, and then we have a microphone in there. They obviously block these two because no integrated graphics. We have our Ethernet here, only four USB, I assume twos in the back for just input output, that's why it has IO. Here's what I'm liking though up to four monitors on this 3060, Ooh. and it looks like we have one HDMI and then three Display Port. Keep in mind, you may not always get the exact same card. I mean, I don't know if HP, they, they're a little bit of a bigger company than us, but sometimes it's hard to get the exact same supplier, so sometimes they just put RTX 3060, and you never know what brand you're gonna get. I am curious if we actually have like an HP branded 3060, or if we have another company's 3060. Here we go, see what we got. So we're gonna look for a couple things here. We're looking, do we have dual channel RAM? And that is a no. Oh no. Yep, that's a no. So you see we got a single eight gig stick and it is a Samsung stick that's also HP branded. I'm trying to find the speed here. 3200 megahertz. And that's a, yep, eight gig. I thought it said 16 for a second. I was kind of freaked out. But yeah, single eight gig stick, 3200 megahertz. It's a good speed um, for 10th gen Intel, but at the same time, you really want dual channel. So that is something that maybe we'll leave a link in the description down below, an affiliate link to a second stick of RAM. We'll try to match it as best as we can to the Samsung stick. One thing we were right about is we do have an SK Hynix 256 gig NVMe M.2 SSD. It's a full size, so that's totally upgradable. Um, you can always swap it out. We have an M.2 Wi-Fi card right over there. These things typically have really good Wi-Fi and usually Bluetooth. Graphics card is exactly what Matt was saying. It's kind of like a, not exactly proprietary. I mean, you could take this out and put it in anything you want. You'll probably see cards like this on eBay, but it's just a pretty standard 12 gig 3060 um, that's basically like an HP OEM card, I guess you could say. Maybe these are also in Dell's and a couple other brands. It does use external power. It has one eight pin on it. Um, big single fan right here, but it's nice though. You know, it's not straight up like a, like a blower style card or anything, or like a straight reference card. It's kind of like in the middle, like Matt was saying, you know, it could be definitely worse. We used to see some pretty bad cards in OEM systems. Uh, power supply, 
we have a 400 watts. So not bad. I mean, a little bit of room for expansion. What do they give us for expansion? That's another good question. So we have, uh, let's see, one open SATA coming off of the... So oh, I'm just feeling we're going to want to throw another drive in to make game benchmarking a little yeah. easier. Yeah, 256 gig only is pretty small. They actually do just give us an open SATA um, data and then a couple of SATA power ports. Uh, we don't have any more um, PCIe pins coming off of the power supply. They don't really want you to go probably over this. I mean, 400 watts is already like, I would definitely enough for this, but you know, you don't want to put in like a 3080 or anything because then you're just pushing it. So, you know, you do have some slide upgrade abilities. You could probably go an i7 if you wanted to, mm -hmm. because we do have a 10 Gen i5, six core, 12 thread sitting under this, but easily go i7 if you wanted to, and it definitely has the power for it. And then, you know what, real quick, I'm gonna look for this, this ARGB supposed or LED expansion that they're talking about, because I need to know what they're saying. Yeah, what do they mean by that? For those who didn't see the little clip I showed you, here it is. We have a sleek space saving tower allows you to expand and upgrade with customizable LED lights. One thing I can think of is it's a weird way of them saying you could add different things in there that have RGB on yeah, them. Yeah, because like it has SATA. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it has something to power it. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything that like looks super promising um, for RGB. The only thing I could think of is maybe like there's an LED strip right here that's just green. Maybe there's a way to get into that. And you know, just for fun, I'm gonna take this off. I feel bad like saying there's no way to upgrade it. It looks pretty- So that's <laughs> plugged into that. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty proprietary to me. I don't really see a way to add more LEDs to this, but I mean, we could make it happen if we wanted to. It's just you at home. You might not be able to figure out an easy way. So I don't know what they mean by that. I was kind of like excited thinking maybe they like had something a little new with this, but hey, so far it's just the old reliable acid green. So let's go ahead and plug it in, you know, make sure it actually turns on. Cause the one where I was talking about how good they are, what if this is the one time it doesn't work? I'll actually show you what we mean by acid green. Cause if you're new to the channel or haven't seen any of these videos before of this uh, pre-built, it's green, it glows green and it's yeah. pretty. And oh, McAllister, come here. Oh, it's cool McAllister. Get, look what's on the look what's on the the film set right now. <laughs> hey, but this one's a little bit different. It's acid green. It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit different. <laughs> All right, can McAllister figure out what's different with it? But what about cool McAllister? Oh man, he talks cool when he's cool McAllister. No, he yeah, he does. He says, yo, 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 yo. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. That, is it the graphics card? Yeah, I mean, basically, it just has a. Uh, I don't. Have we done one with the tension i5 yet? I don't think so. So Tension i5 and RTX 3060 for 650 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's a good deal. Aren't 3060s like, like 400, 500? Yes, yeah, they've come down a lot. They were at one point like 800, so, oh, he's not cool anymore. Um, he's he's, he's D&D McAllister now. All right, there he goes. But anyways, yeah, yeah let's just go ahead and uh, probably slap another drive in there to make benchmarking a little bit easier, but then we'll be diving into some benchmarking. All right guys, we're launching off with some Apex Legends on this acid green HP and we're pretty much maxed out. Like there's maybe one setting we could up, but other than that, you know, we're, we're definitely good to go. And uh, it is capped at 144, but look at that. We're getting right below so we can actually see there's no more headroom. We're definitely hitting the max of this system as far as potential because my voice just almost, almost, almost died. Dude. Oh, that's me. Oh, it's that 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 Yeah. What is with this pre players doing jump <laughs> shots? Oh, I'm I'm shooting. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen one. Yeah, you got two spot kids. Oh, yes. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, that, was, that was a good first shot yeah. there. Yeah. Headshots like, yeah, that's my teammate. That's my teammate. That's my teammate. I mean, you could stream this. You'd probably want to lower the settings to like maybe low medium, but yep. you could easily stream this. You got the NVENC encoder. You also got the nice mm -hmm. Intel CPU. So streamable, looking pretty baby. Good. Looking pretty good. Next game. All right, next game. All right, gamers, we are in Rocket League and we're on high settings, 1080p. Here's the quality settings you have right now. Oh God, I'm starting. And look at my awful car, guys. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? That's definitely a randomizer. That right is a there. randomizer, but we're getting 300 plus FPS. I mean, Rocket League. 4K. But, yeah, 4K. No, 1080p. Uh, but the uh, Rocket League is not super hard to run, but I just want to throw it in the mix because it is a game that people are liking to play. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Dude, Tripping clips. Oh, and then I get the uh, cheesy goal. The cheesy 1v1 goal that happens, and then everyone gets super salty about it. Let's try that again. Set up. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Brosive. Yeah, he's gonna four figure out. Like, 
Okay, well, that's Rocket League. That was a League. supersonic legend play right there. That was. Yeah, that was Rocket League. Performance is obviously good. Rocket League is not super hard to run, but um, yeah, got to show what that can do. Let's play some Halo Infinite. All right, guys, we're starting off with Halo Infinite. We're at 1080p. We are in the medium preset, and it's definitely struggling. I am playing ranked right now, so this is probably going to be a big mistake. I'm just going to die over and over again. Um, but I'll show you guys the video settings. So, unlock 1080p minimum, or unlock um, FPS, and then... Yeah, we're pretty high up here. I definitely think that that eight gigs of RAM, we're, we're definitely gonna feel in this game. And also we're only running on a one, or sorry, 60 Hertz monitor right now. So we're definitely gonna struggle with that as well. Yeah, this is well, when we're doing the other benchmarks, we're like, oh yeah, you know, lower in game single channel's fine. But once you get into Halo Infinite, just spending the extra like 30 or 40 bucks in another eight gigs to give you 60 gigs of memory, you'll get way more performance. We'll show that during some, some of the built-in benchmarks. We'll show you with the single stick and with 16. True that boo, true that boo. True that boo, hey <laughs> Yo. I did not mean to pull that. Oh, I was like, how'd the needle get out? Well, that's the downside about the squirrel wheel bound, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, what? Wow, how'd that happen? Dang it, dude. My punches is not working. Right. Ooh, there you go. You have the ball. Oh. You've lost the ball. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yeah, I broke your shield. Oh, uh, lordy, lordy, uh, lordy. Yo. No, Yo. where'd that grenade come from? Oh, oh, they threw it to you. <laughs> I must have been seeing something. Your clear. teammate got it. Oh, he got it. He got um, it. He got it. Woo! Yay! That felt so long. That was Victory! Too long. But yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's Halo Control Infinite. Like Definitely would benefit from the extra stick of memory, but we're gonna run some built-in benchmarks, and uh, for at least one of them, we're gonna throw in another stick of memory so you guys can see the difference in upgrading. All right, guys, so you probably already know opinion on this machine right here. It is absolutely amazing. The price that you're getting it for, around 650 bucks, is a no-brainer. We definitely recommend picking it up. We do recommend also doing a couple upgrades. One, add some storage. You can fit in a hard drive. We put in a 512 gig, two and a half inch SSD, and also add some RAM because that single eight gigs, not only is eight gigs not really enough capacity, but also only having a single stick, not enabling dual channel is definitely a no-go. And we were getting 30 more FPS in most of the games when we added a second stick. It would be very hard for, even with the upgrades at $700 to build something with this level of performance yourself. So it's a pretty good deal. So definitely check the link down below. We'll try to link to multiple retailers because normally 
when these uh, HP pavilions go on sale, they sell at Walmart or eBay or a bunch of different places where you can actually buy them. Um, and the price may vary and depending on stock, you might be able to get one at one place or another. So links down below will be probably affiliate links and they will help us out. Now, as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay Goodbye. Up. Now, like we told you guys, you can do the upgrades yourself. You can buy this system. What if we told you at PC Bros, we already got it upgraded and we're gonna sell it for a great price. PC Bros .tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. This one's probably gonna be gone by the time the video goes live, but you never know. If you use code TOASTYBROS21 to check out, you can save 2% on your next purchase of an awesome PC, gaming laptop, or more. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.